Six, sweet one. It was to be the swearing in of newly elected municipal court judge Patrick Vincent Kerrigan. It was Kerrigan himself who chose the site for the ceremony. The oath of office was to be given by the outgoing judge, Frank Kreisen. Not defeated, he simply was prevented from running again by the state law limiting the upper age for judges. The honor of presenting the robe was reserved for Judge Kerrigan's mother, while his wife held the Bible during the oath. I, Patrick V. Kerrigan, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear. The new judge is from a younger generation and has some forward-looking ideas. Some of the areas that I want to work on is an improved probation department. I think we need a housing court to deal with some of the housing problems in this city. And I think as much as anything else, just to do whatever we can to get more services to the people in more convenient times. The man Kerrigan is replacing on the bench has served the city for many years as mayor in addition to jurist. Well, I always like to think that uh, perhaps uh, the plant out at Lordstown, even though it wasn't accomplished during the terms I served, but it was started when I was mayor, and I think it was responsible for in a long way to uh, getting it to Lordstown. After Kerrigan had been sworn in by Judge Kreisen, Kerrigan performed the same service for the two who will be his bailiffs. First, Margaret McCarthy, and then James Smith. Judge Patrick Vincent Kerrigan will take his place on the Youngstown Municipal Court bench after the first of the year. Bill Applegate for Newswatch 27.